Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to service your push lawnmower. All the different types of lawnmowers will be slightly different but the general processes are exactly the same. Now this particular one has a Brix and Stratton engine which a lot of different brands of lawnmowers seem to run. And we're going to use the Brix and Stratton oil change pump which I haven't used previously. But these are really basic and I have used things similar. You can buy these at most small engine shops and hardware stores in Australia. And we're also going to use the original Brix and Stratton oil to replace the oil that's in the lawnmower already. Now this is just a basic service that anyone can do at home. As you can see here I have propped the lawnmower up on a paint can. That way it sits up on an angle facing towards the oil filler port which is located right here. So that way most of the oil will be gathering up in this part of the engine. So when we're extracting the old oil we'll get most of it out. On this side here is the air filter and it's just got a foam air filter like that with a cover on it. I'll use some brake cleaner. You can also use degreaser or any other cleaning product to spray onto the foam. I have cleaned the foam and I've rinsed it with water and then I've dried it. It is now dry and ready to reuse. Now I didn't film that part because I'm sure you can work that out yourself. Now if you notice that the foam is starting to deteriorate and fall apart just throw it out and buy another one. It's not worthwhile having bits of foam going into the carburetor of your lawnmower. This one here is still perfect so I'm going to reuse it. Some people recommend always changing the spark plug and replacing it with a new one. I think that's a bit of a waste of money. I pull the spark plug out and inspect it. The same with these things. If it's still good, why replace it? There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to reuse it until it deteriorates and then I'm going to spend the money to replace it. Now I do the exact same thing with the spark plug. So the spark plug is located down here. So let's pull it out and inspect it and see if it needs replacing. So you take off your lead. These should not be really tight. Okay, these should come out pretty easily. If they're tight, you've got a problem. So that looks pretty good. There's nothing really wrong with this. So I get a small wire brush like this and give it a good clean. Take off any carbon built up or anything else and then you can get a closer look to see if there's actually any wear on the spark plug. Now I always keep the spare spark plug handy and it literally takes 30 seconds to change. So if your spark plug does end up failing or your lawnmower does not run right, well just throw a new plug in it. But until it does, and looking at this one, it's still good. You know, don't waste your money. Don't spend more money than you have to, especially in today's times. I do this for a living. I do this as a job. If I change spark plugs every time I change the oil in the lawnmower, it cost me a fortune. So that's perfectly good, ready to go back in. You tighten your spark plug up finger tight and then give it a slight turn and that's it. Now we refit the ignition lead, make sure it clicks on there and that job's done. Now what I didn't mention earlier, I've cleaned this lawnmower before the service. I had it outside, I blew it off of a leaf blower and then I wiped it over with just some general purpose cleaner. This is multi-purpose cleaner from Coles, I think it's like $2 or whatever it might be, it's very cheap. I use it in my workshop all the time. I use it to clean car parts, wipe down the outside of the lawnmower, etc, etc. This is really, really handy stuff and it works a lot better than a lot of stuff that people are using in their workshop. Now that we've done that, the only thing left is to change the oil. Now this mower has been sitting on its site for a little while just to make sure that everything does drain down to that end. And let's open up this oil change kit. I don't really need the instructions. And these are the parts that are in it. There's the pump. This is the little plug that goes into your oil bottle. There's the extractor hose. 
and the actual bottle. Okay, that's all that's in this kit. Now if I'm sweating, it's because it's 35 degrees in here. It is hot today. And there's our drain hose, which also goes in there. And now we should be ready to pump the oil out of the engine. Okay, we'll take out the dipstick. Here's an old rag. We'll just use that to clean up the dipstick. Now we insert the hose down into the crankcase of the engine. So that seems to be right at the bottom now. And we should be able to just pump the oil out. There you go, have a look at that, nice and black. And there should only be about half a litre of oil in the engine. I've just adjusted the camera a little bit so you can see better, so that's where the oil ends up. We're now at the stage I have adjusted the hose a couple of times where I can't get any more oil out of the engine. And it looks like there's about half a litre in there anyway, so I think we've got it all out. So let's put that aside. Now I like to clean up a little bit. Now you can take out your paint tin and set your mower level again. And we get our oil and we fill up the engine. For memory it takes the whole bottle, but what I recommend doing is pouring most of it in there and then keep checking it with your dipstick to get the level just perfect. Nice clean oil going in your motor. Now there's still a little bit left in there, so what I'll do now is I'll get my dipstick and check the oil level. You don't want to overfill it. Overfilling is as bad as underfilling. Now I'm not sure if that's going to show up on the camera, but we're just at the bottom of the full mark. It's got the two holes there, and we're right at the bottom one here at the moment. So we're just about there. We're right at the second hole there. So you've got the first hole which is your bottom level and you've got the second hole which is your top level and we're right there. So that's it, job done. Put this in there. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. Always check your oil level when your lawnmower is on the level surface like your garage floor or workbench or something like that. The other thing that's important is what I will do now is I will start up the lawnmower outside I'll run it for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, I will shut it down and then I will recheck the oil level. Now in the future I will make another video that will show you how to sharpen the blades on your lawn mower. Next time the blades are due for sharpening on this mower I will show you how to do it. It's quite simple and uh, anyone can do it. In the meantime if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, interesting or useful do me a favour and give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.